Breathwork is extremely important for the circulation and transmutation of sexual energy. In today's episode, I'll explain how to do breathwork properly and show you the different routines you can do to enhance your semen retention journey. So, the main goal of breathwork is to make the sexual energy you have conserved in your sex center to start circulating upward in your body. I explained this process in the previous two episodes I released, so I won't go over it again today. In order to get the best results for your breathwork session, you must be at least on day 10 to 15 of your semen retention streak that should give you enough accumulated energy in your sex center to actually feel the energy flowing throughout your entire body. Breathwork should be done in the morning on an empty stomach. Never try to do it after a meal. Try to clear any mucus or nasal congestion to make it easier to breathe correctly and deeply. And finally, be alone and make sure you won't be disturbed. It will also be easier to get in the flow when there is complete silence around you. Do not overcomplicate it. Breathwork is just another term used for pranayama. In Sanskrit, prana means life energy and yama means control. It's basically only the practice of breath regulation. The benefits of breathwork. After a breathwork session, you may feel a sensation of energy flowing and vibrating throughout your entire body. Engaging in breathwork can leave you feeling more grounded and re-energized. You will feel stability, balance, and vitality returning to the body and mind. It's as if you've replenished your energy reserves and connected more deeply with yourself and your surroundings. Breathwork can sharpen your mental faculties and enhance your focus. You may find that your mind becomes exceptionally clear and sharp after a session. Another benefit of breathwork sessions is a reduction in inner chatter and intrusive thoughts. Your mind becomes quieter and more peaceful as unnecessary mental clutter dissipates. The recommended time is between 15 to 20 minutes per session. It takes practice, but when you get into the flow state, the time passes by extremely quickly. The first five minutes are usually the longest. There are three parts to each session. Part one, you begin with slow, deep breaths to relax yourself and get into the zone. Once you have found your rhythm, you will enter a flow state. This generally takes five minutes. Part two, once you get into your flow state, that's when you start pumping energy. The breaths get quicker, shorter, and more aggressive as the energy starts flowing throughout the body. Part two usually takes 10 minutes. Part three, be one with the energy and meditate. At this stage, the breath should be very slow and relaxed. One tip I like to use is to breathe without making any noise. So, you begin your session slowly by getting into your rhythm. Once you find your rhythm, you start being aggressive with the breathing to pump energy. When energy starts flowing throughout your body, you meditate. How to breathe. Close your eyes and inhale and exhale only through your nose. Your tongue should be positioned on the roof of your mouth. You should breathe with your belly and not your chest. Belly breathing is what enables you to pump the energy. When you inhale, expand your belly out, and when you exhale, tuck your belly in. By synchronizing your breath with the movement of your belly, drawing it in on exhalation, and allowing it to expand on inhalation, you effectively engage in belly breathing. As you exhale, consciously bring your belly in and simultaneously squeeze and activate your perineum muscle. This action is crucial for releasing and directing the flow of energy throughout your body. The perineum is the area of tissue between the genitals and the anus. By developing a mind-muscle connection, you can easily learn to contract your perineum at will. Just keep in mind that this is the same muscle you engage when you try to stop peeing midstream. As you activate your perineum muscle and exhale, visualize a circular movement of energy. Imagine this energy flowing from your pelvic region upward through your body and reaching the top of your head. The drawing on the right explains it perfectly. You have three main points to focus on, the belly, the perineum, and the top of the head. The top of the head is engaged when you try to look up when closing your eyes. What I have just explained are the core principles of breath work. The variations and routines will depend on the breath 
intervals, how long you inhale or exhale, or how aggressive you get with it. There are more than eight different pranayama routines, so you need to find the one that works for you. The most important thing for me is to focus on belly breathing and squeezing the perineum when exhaling. I hope this video was helpful. I tried my best to explain, but if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.